high. Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite that formed 4.5 billion years ago. Losing moon would be resulted in great disasters that could have bad effect upon life on Earth. Let's talk coming up. How do you do friends? This is me Surendran from my YouTube channel sharing you a lot of inspiring and fascinating facts. If you are already watching this, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for future notification. Well, let's explore. This is a very strange question that I would never thought of but yeah, anything is possible in our daily life. Moon is the second brighter celestial object from the universe that clearly visible in the earth sky during the night time as it reflects light from the sun. It is said to be that the formation of moon is due to the left over debris that resulted from the collision of earth and a mass size object in the universe in the early solar system. Guys, moon really has a lot of things to do with earth. The consequences from losing the moon would be very terrible for us. Trust me, and I'm going to explain how it will affect our earth. Let's explore. Moon exerts a strong gravitational force on earth that affects the movement and position of ocean. This strong force creates bumps of water on each side of the earth. And not forgetting the sun that have a little gravitational force on earth. It is said to be that the moon implies about two thirds of gravitational force on earth while the sun only implies about one third of gravitational force on earth. This is because the uh, sun is millions of kilometers away from our earth. So this is why the uh, sun exerts a lower gravitational force on earth than moon. Some places experience high tides and some places experience low tides as Earth rotates on its axial position for 24 hours a day. And this is why uh, we will have low and high tides. As the Earth rotates, the Moon's gravitational force on Earth will differ according to the place that it is facing. If the place is facing to the Moon, the place will experience high tides. If the place uh, ex, uh, facing away from the moon, the place will experience low tides. If it's not the moon, we wouldn't have tides on this earth and we will have one third of lower tides that we are already having now. So guys, you're already thinking, right? Why I'm talking about the tides? Well, if I want to explain you guys about the tides and what it's even going to do with us, I have to explain you a little bit on coastal ecosystems. Coastal ecosystems are areas where land and water join to create an environment with distinct structure, diversity and flow of energy. So guys, you're already thinking, right? Or are you already there? Well, I will explain you now. The tides will dig away the materials and creatures deep inside the ocean or sea to drive away to the lands. Animals on this type of environment like mussels, uh, crabs, snails and starfish rely on tides for survival. And it is the moon that exerts a strong gravitational force on earth that affects the position and movement of oceans and sea which produce high tides and low tides that influence the ec uh, coastal ecosystem. Without a proper coastal ecosystem, this could be a knock-on effects on land animals and other sea creatures that could lead to their mass extinctions. So guys, it's not only that, the sea creatures also follow the position of Luna and the shape of Luna for reproduction and also for breathing. And if it's not that, they wouldn't reproduce and that's it, they will extinct just like that. And this is very important for us and this it is how important the moon to us. Next, the moon's strong gravitational force have stabilizing effect on earth and it would be gone if the moon disappears. The difference of tides, the pressure of the ocean and also the strong pull of gravitational force from the moon have slowed down our rotation of Earth. In the absence of strong gravitational force, the Earth would start to spin faster and we will experience days shorter. Guys, the only good news over here is 
we wouldn't have to work for so long in a day. As the earth rotates faster, we will experience shorter days. Oh friends, I couldn't really imagine this. If the earth start to spin faster, we will have to overcome the destructive hurricanes. Oh my god guys, I really couldn't think what will happen to us and how we really going to face these deadly hurricanes if it happened to us. Oh, actually I don't have words to say. And guess what guys, we really wouldn't have any more flying birds or flying creatures on this earth. This is because the flying creatures really wouldn't withstand the strong pressure and the strong wind that blows on this earth. Huh. The only survivors in this earth will be the strong and deep rooted trees. And of course, the small tiny creatures, animals that could hide inside the trees. And these are all the survivors on this earth if we ever going to face the deadly hurricanes. In addition, without the moon's stabilizing effect on earth, the earth's axial tilt will become unstable. Hmm. Relative to the plane we orbit around the sun, the earth's tilt is about 23.5 degrees and this 23.5 degrees tilt really influence the four seasons on our earth. Without the strong gravitational force of moon on our earth, our earth wouldn't be stable anymore and the earth would start to wobble between 10 to 45 degrees left and right. This unstable position of earth will really resulted in volcano eruptions, earthquakes and even worse catastrophes. Guys, guess what? The North and South Pole will not be as cold as before and the equators will not be as hot as before. This upside down situation will be resulted in the melt of icebergs and the sea level will start to rise and the lands will start to cover with water. This irreversible effect will be long lasting and the climate of earth will be hard to predict. The saddest part here is earth would be an unwelcoming place for humans to live and it will be hard or it will be difficult to develop agriculture as the climate of the earth is difficult to be predicted. That's not the end friends and to make the bad situation much worse, the moon actually act as a bouncer or we can say act as a body cut that protect our earth from asteroids and meteors that roaming around the universe. If we don't have moon or in the absence of moon, our earth will be readily exposed to be hit by the gigantic rocks that always roaming in the universe. It is sad to say that earth would be a different place for humans to live due to the catastrophic consequences upon the life on this earth. Friends, I think I have really made it short and simple for you guys to understand regarding what will happen if we lose the moon right now. Suggest me a topic for my next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like my video, share my video to your friends and others. We share the knowledge among the community. We rise by lifting others. Thank you. Thanks for checking out this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Bye.